Dean is raising the bar this morning on enjoying beer and the whole experience. In fact, she got a lesson on cleanliness that will blow your mind. Where do you start? How do you pour a beer? Well, uh, the way that we would start on this system, uh, we are outfitted with glass rinsers. So we okay. would take our glass and invert it on there and give it a quick spritz. So you literally just push down? Just push down and it'll rinse it out. Oh, that's so fun. <laughs> yeah, so that prepares the glass for pouring. Cool, okay. Right? And then we go to our beer. Okay. And you want to hold the glass at an angle close to the faucet, but you don't want to touch the faucet to the glass. Okay. So the two rules are you don't touch the faucet to the glass and you don't dunk the faucet in the beer. Okay. And so you start at an angle and the way the faucet works is it only operates correctly if it's fully open. Oh. If you open it part way, you'll get nothing but foam. Okay. So what you do is you grab it low on the handle, hold that glass close and at an angle, and then you snap it open. And then you slowly stand up the glass as it fills, form a little bit of a head, and then snap it shut. Was that pretty good? That was great. Yay! So we've got a nice little collar of foam, and we have a clean glass. So clean glassware is a really important thing. Now, everybody cleans their glassware right. in bars and restaurants. But what we look for in the beer business is what we call beer clean. Okay. So a beer clean glass is free of soil and free of oil. So this glass is clean. It's what we would call beer clean. And one of the first signs of that is that it doesn't have any bubbles stuck to the inside of the glass. That's the telltale sign of a glass that's not beer clean. We've prepared a glass here that will uh, kind of demonstrate yeah. what it looks like when you get a glass of beer uh, in a glass that is not clean. Yeah, because so when, when we, you say bubbles, I think it's beer. Of course it's gonna have bubbles. Yeah, of course it's gonna have bubbles, right? Yeah. So when we fill this glass, which has oily residue on the inside, you can see all those bubbles stuck to the inside. Why is it bubbling like that? Or, or why does it do that if the, if the glass is dirty? Well, bubbles don't stick to glass. Bubbles stick to stuff on glass. So fatty residues or oils on the inside of a glass can cause the carbonation to break out and stick to it. And this can be caused from using beer glassware with things that have dairy products, for example. Okay. So if you have a cocktail glass that you're mixing white Russians in, yeah. that fatty residue from the cream can deposit on the glass and even stay there after it's been washed. And then when you go to fill the glass, you get bubbles stuck to the inside like that. Or it could be grease or oils from food if you're washing glassware in a dish machine used for food dishes. Is there anything else you should spot in the glass besides that, or that's kind of like the biggest signal that? Well, that's could the be biggest off? signal. You can also see that the head has collapsed, and it uh -huh. collapsed pretty rapidly. Uh -huh. Now, foam will collapse even in a beer clean glass. So the one we poured uh, by you know by the time we've talked about it for a few minutes, the foam has collapsed. But there's still a little bit of residual foam on that beer. Right. But this one, it's gone. I don't know if I should thank you or not for that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, who knew that? That's disgusting. You just, we just thought it was because there was more carbonation and it was a good pour. Now the glass is dirty, so servers, sorry in advance for anyone who sends the glass of beer back because of bubbles.